Hi, Jeremy Blum here with another video tutorial for UltimateComputers.net. Today I'll be showing you how to upgrade the RAM in your laptop. In order to upgrade the memory in your laptop, you will need a set of precision screwdrivers, both flathead and Phillips, the RAM that you want to put in the computer, and of course the laptop. If you need help selecting the RAM to that will be compatible with your computer, please visit our forum at UltimateComputers.net. As with all computer upgrades, you want to start by removing power from the system. Start by removing the power cable from the laptop. Next, remove the battery from your laptop. If your laptop has two batteries, make sure that you remove both. All laptops are different, but on many laptop models, there's one stick of RAM on each side of the motherboard. That includes this particular model that we're working with today, the Dell Latitude D630. You'll have to remove one stick of RAM from a panel on the bottom of the motherboard here, and then you'll have to flip the laptop over, remove the keyboard, and access the motherboard from the top side to remove the second stick of RAM. We'll start with the bottom stick. Once you've exposed the first RAM slot, it's very simple to remove. Simply grab the two metal clasps on each side, pull them away from the stick of RAM, and it will pop up then gently remove it from the slot and place it aside. Next, remove your new stick of RAM from the packaging and be sure to handle it carefully to avoid electrostatic discharge. You may wish to work on an anti-static mat such as this one or wear an anti-static bracelet. Next, insert the RAM into the RAM slot, making sure that the two notches line up with each other. That indicates it's going in the correct direction. You put it in at an angle, about 45 degrees up from the board and then push down and it'll snap into place. Now that we've finished installing the first stick of RAM, you should replace the cover on the bottom of the laptop and screw it into place. The second stick of RAM is a bit trickier to install. You'll now have to flip the laptop over, open it, and prepare to remove the keyboard. On this particular laptop, as well as many other laptops, you'll have to start by removing a plastic shroud above the top of the keyboard before you can access the screws that hold it in place. Use a flathead precision screwdriver to pry it up, and then you'll have to use your fingers to remove it. Once the plastic has been removed, you can unscrew the three screws that hold the keyboard tray in place. Now remove the keyboard by pulling it towards you. Be careful of the ribbon cable that attaches it to the motherboard. Move it out of the way so that you can gain access to the RAM slot without disconnecting the ribbon cable. If you can't access the RAM slot in this fashion, you may have to disconnect the keyboard and reconnect it when you're done. Now that we can access the other RAM module, we'll remove it in the same fashion that we did the first one. Pull the tabs to the side, let it flip up, and then carefully remove it. Put your second RAM stick in in the same fashion you did the first. Once again, make sure to line up the tabs on the RAM with the tab in the slot. Put it in at a 45 degree angle, and then push straight down towards the motherboard until it clicks. Now that the RAM is back in, we can reconnect the keyboard and slide it back into place. Make sure it's snapped in on all sides, and then screw it back into place. Now snap the plastic shroud back into place above the keyboard. Now that we have our RAM slots replaced, we'll put the battery back in, plug it in, and ensure that the system has correctly detected all of the RAM. You should start by booting into your BIOS to ensure that the BIOS detects the RAM. As expected, 4 gigabytes of memory has appeared in the BIOS as opposed to the previous 2 gigabytes. Now that we've confirmed it into the BIOS, we've booted into the operating system, and there as well, we can see that all 4 gigabytes have been detected. Always keep in mind that on a 32-bit operating system, even if you install more than 4 gigabytes, you will never detect more than that because of the theoretical maximum of a 32-bit CPU architecture. 